Hey guys, Aaron Classic Gamer, and guess what? We're going to do an unboxing and opening gameplay of Demons of Asterberg and Astabros on the Evercade. Demons of Asterberg is being uh, ported to all sorts of different systems right now. Really hot game. I guess it's even coming to the Neo Geo, which is pretty epic. But anyway, guys, we're going to check this out. We're going to plug it into our portable, and then we're going to put it into our Evercade Versus. And do the one credit game and just check out uh, the two games here and just see what modern classics they truly are. So let's go ahead, guys. Here we are. Like I said, we have two different games here on the Evercade. 16-bit games, it says. All right, we have Demons of Astroborg and Astro Bros. All right, and it's Neo FD, I guess, is the publisher. You can check that out right there. This is number 36 in the Evercade console collection. All right, it says live the 16-bit legends of Asterberg on Evercade. Take on the demonic hordes and demons of Asterberg's challenging platformer action and brave the ever-changing dungeons of Asterbros to discover the origins of Asterberg. All right, guys. Evercade cartridge works on the Evercade EXP, the Versus and the Evercade Original, all of which we do have, so that'll be cool, guys. You got any other languages you read, so there you go. We have, pause it right here, and you can check it out. This came out, came out last year. It's been a ton of fun, guys, and it's been ported to all sorts of different systems, so it'll be cool to check this out where the craze, not started, but definitely got going. So anyway, guys, we've got our handy-dandy knife. da 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 da, -da. And we're going to open this game and check it out. Alright. Gotta love these original releases, guys. You got plastic. You got to take off an actual game. Not something you can do with a download. Anyway, guys, here we go. We're going to open it up. With a full color manual, as always. Mmm, new game smell. Alright, check out that beautiful box art, guys. On the cartridge. Very, very cool. And here we have our full color manual, and it seems pretty beefy. It's got quite a bit of heft to it. Let's look on the back. It advertises the Evercade EXP. Retro gaming leveled up. Alright, let's open it up. It says about Neo Fed Studios. Neofed Studios consist of three retro gaming enthusiasts who originally set themselves the challenge of making the new 16-bit console game in 2019. After successfully achieving this with Demons of Asterberg, they set up Neofed Studios to continue pursuing their dreams of modern retro releases. Christoph Rebol is the founder of Neofed Technology, a company specializing in the managing electronic loyalty cards, but which has also been financing the creation of video games since 2015. This eventually led him to him and his friends creating Demons of Asterberg and establishing New Fit Studios as a subsidiary company. Simon Rebol is a company developer passionate about the world of video games since he was a child. He has been creating his own virtual universe as the creation of Neofid Studios. His passion has been crystallized. He began working with Game Maker and now develops for C for classic 16-bit systems. Initially self-taught, Christoph Roland is an enthusiast who, has, who was coding his own mobile games long before he started studying computer science. He is much interested in development as a graphic design in graphic design, sorry. With a sharp artistic sense coupled with a perfectionist characteristic character, he brings a new graphic vision that is nonetheless faithful to the classic 16-bit era. Christopher and Simon co-created the Asterberg universe. There's our contents there. Hear that? That is the awesomeness that is. Opening up a full color game manual, guys. Long ago, in search of a prosperous continent, humans and demons put aside their differences and joined forces to conquer the hostile lands of Asterberg. Unable to live together peacefully, they made rules and drew borders. They agreed a pack, to a pact that should be respected at all costs. A few years later, rumors spread that the pact had been broken. A war broke out. Zatimus, the leader of the demon army, launched the assault and took advantage of the humans. 
As the hope of the humans withered, two heroes appeared, a witch with extraordinary magical powers and a fearsome warrior with mysterious origins. The warrior managed to lock up the demons at the cost of his own life. All right. But Zadimus managed to escape and hid, waiting patiently for the day of his revenge. Shortly after that, a child was born to the witch, weakened by the great war she lived in hiding for fear of reprisals from the, the powerful demons. Her fears were realized, the witch was mysteriously murdered, and the chief of the royal guard, Bohort, took the child under his wing and treated him as his own son. The boy, who seemed to possess incredible fighting skills, received intensive training and became, like his mentor, a powerful warrior. Thirty years have passed since the war. Zadimus, having regained his strength, has found a way to open the portal and free the demons trapped in the lost dimension. Gararath, the child of Providence, now an accomplished warrior, must head into battle to save his people. Da -da -da -da. All right, basic controls, guys. How to play? Very cool manual, guys. You gotta love all these manuals. They're just so beautiful and totally full color. It's just unbelievable. In 2020, you get not one but two games that are pretty much brand new or very new, and everything is in color. If they can do it at this price point and sell just thousands or tens of thousands, why can't the larger publishers do the same? They say it's to cut down on you know, pollution and all that kind of stuff. I don't believe it. This is just a couple little pages here, guys. There's the story. Check out those full color manual pictures. This is just absolutely beautiful, guys. Somebody drew this and designed all this. Very, very awesome. So. It'll be a lot of fun. You guys can pause the video as you go and read all this. We don't want this to be a 30, 40 minute video. It might be, depending on how fun the game is and how far we can get. But uh, hear that Christmas of the manual being opened. Very, very cool, guys. All right. Just checked out every single page of this awesome full color manual. Let's put that in. Let's go ahead, guys, and let's pop this in to the Evercade original as they've come to call it, which I prefer. The, the buttons are better, the screen is not. However, I enjoy all the buttons. It's amazing. All right, let's uh, launch the game here. You can see the camera and my fat bald head. Sorry about that. Gotta love that sound, guys. I haven't updated the Evercade in quite a while. And that's because so many bugs and everything else. So anyway, 2023 for Astro Bros and Demons of Astroburg 2021. Anyway, guys, let's get over to the other screen and we're going to plug this in and we're going to see how far we can get. Hey guys, Aaron Classic Gamer, and here we are at the other screen. We're going to play Demons of Astroburg and Astro Bros. Here on the Evercade, guys, we're playing on the Evercade versus utilizing the Evercade versus controller, which is surprisingly a very good controller, guys. You gotta love these retro consoles and all this good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and we'll play Astro Bros first. We'll play a few minutes of that, and then we'll get into Demons of Astroburg, which of course is the center of uh, attention for this particular cartridge. So let's go ahead and we'll launch this game. It came out in 2023. Astro Bros is a platformer with roguelike elements for one or two players simultaneously. Three heroes have been sent to rescue an exploration battalion that was captured while searching for a promised land. Battle your way through randomly generated dungeons in search of the prisoners, defeating enemies, collecting treasure, and challenging deadly bosses along the way. Keep an eye out for special treasure rooms to acquire modifiers that boost your abilities on your current run. So this is a sequel, guys. All right, let's hit play. And we'll play a little bit of this, and then we'll go into Demons of Asterberg. By Neofid Studios. Powered by SGDK. All right, English. This game features beautiful 16-bit graphics and sound, guys. Hell, Pastor Bird! Grand 
and seafaring adventure. And we're stuck on an island! So we make camp. Just making this up as we go. And we get jailed. I don't know. Something like that. And here our heroes are. Provastenberg. We set sail again. Check out those beautiful hand-drawn graphics, guys. Castle Grayskull. I'm just kidding. It's Astabros. We're going to start a new game. Delete, save. Why not? We're playing this game. Actually, kind of the first time I did launch the game to see if it would play. So, hence why you had that. Check that out. We can see the sea below. All sorts of thunder and lightning. Finally arrived. It was a close call. The terrain looks pretty rough. Can't wait to strengthen my legs. Stretch my legs. Alright. We've got a dash that we can do. Alright, we got bombs. Press and hold down and dash to drop a bomb. Alright, let's do that here. Get out of the way! Alright. Got ourselves a key. There we go. You are the reinforcements, aren't you? Who are you? We come by order of the king. My name is Rorik. Your brothers in arms disappeared on their expedition. I can take you to the camp they have established. Rorik, we thought that this island was only populated by monsters. This is now the case, but I was here long before all this. I will be your guide in this place. Why help us? These monsters have decimated my people, and I cannot avenge them without your help. What do you think? We don't really have a choice. Plus, I like the color of his toga. All right, Rorix, let's go. All right, let's go to the next little area here. Here we are. You'll be safe here. This place has a house, rough constructions. It's a bit empty, isn't it? For the time being, you'll probably find aliens or allies trapped in the layers of these monsters. Help them, and their services could prove useful. We'll try to stay alive. Don't worry, I'll bring you back to the camp if you get knocked out of battle. Beware of goblins, they are thieves and can take advantage of a moment of weakness. Alright, what's our first destination? The monsters strengthen the strongholds with spells you will need, the magic orbs they hold in order to break them. The pigmen's fort to the north doesn't seem to be protected, you should start there. Pigmen? I think I've seen some of these before. They are very dangerous and will allow you to make the hand. Here we go, let's roast them. I'll be waiting for you to join when you are ready. Ready to go? Yes. On our grand adventure. When the mage is all his MP, he can charge a powerful magic attack. Travel in progress. Is this Oregon Trail? What is that smell? Rourke told me that it was an old pantry overrun by pigmen. Maybe there's still some perverted, preserved food. Piggishness will lose you. It looked like a pig, but nevertheless, we will destroy it. Pig man. See you later. We can go in there, I guess not.
Watch out! These damn gremlins. Money lost, 17. Oh no! We died, guys. Everything is fine. Some goblins attacked you and stole some of your loot. I found some rough weapons on the way. Use this one in the meantime. You buy it a beat. But you are safe now. Rest and leave when you're ready. Aw oh, man, guys. It's pretty wild. Well, I guess that's it for the one credit game here. Let's go ahead and get out of here and let's go over to the Demons of Astaburg from 2021. Demons of Asperger is a platformer for one player. As Gareth, the child of Providence, you must fight back against the demonic forces that threaten to invade the realm, led by the evil Zadimus. Battle through the village, fields, cemeteries, swamps, and beyond, acquiring new weaponry and abilities along the way. Be sure to heed the counsel of your spirit guide, Uther, once he's regained his memory, that is. Alright. Very cool. Let's launch this awesome game, guys. From everything I see online, it is quite the game, so. Neofid Studios. Alright. Let's do English. Long ago, in search of the prosperous continent, humans and demons put aside their differences and joined forces to conquer the hostile lands of Asterburg. Unable to live together peacefully, they made rules and drew borders. They drew up a pact that should be respected at all costs. Like we read it in the manual. A few years later, rumors of the pact's breach surfaced and a war broke out between the two peoples. The humans were quickly overwhelmed by the numbers and power of the demons. Bum, bum, bum. Suddenly, two heroes appeared. A witch with an extraordinary power to a powerful warrior with mysterious origins. The latter managed at the cost of the final sacrifice to lock the demons in a lost dimension. Zadimus, leader of the demon army, managed to escape, awakening, and he went to exile. Shortly after their victory, a child was born from their secret union. Word spread through Zadimus had been seen that the pilgrims, the witch, weakened by war, lived in hiding in fear, reprisals from the powerful demon. was mysteriously murdered and the child was taken by the Bohort, leader of the Royal Guard. He took the child under his wing and looked after him as if he were his own, unaware of his origins. Pretty cool lore, guys. Very, very cool. The boy who seemed to possess incredible fighting skills received intensive training and became, like his mentor, a powerful warrior. Since the wars out of us, having regained his strength, found a way to open the, the portal and free the demons trapped in the lost dimension. He lost an attack against the humans to seek his revenge. Revenge! Gareth, the child of Providence, who became an accomplished warrior, went into battle to save his people. Alright, story, you're getting kind of long. You're getting kind of long here. Look at this beautiful 16-bit awesomeness. Maybe early 16-bit, late 8-bit kind of style of graphics. Got some mode 7 looking stuff there. Demons of Astroburg, guys. Let's go ahead and press start. Let's play and just see how far we can get. Start in the village because it won't allow me to start anywhere else. Ready? Yes. Pretty Castlevania ish. In some ways, you see graphics are a little better, a little worse than the other game. I've been practicing a lot on the scarecrow. You see it rolls and quick attacks to your advantage during the fights. Gareth, there you 
your hump of hump. What's up? I heard screams. Bo Hart sent me monsters came out of nowhere to attack us. Please help us. I'll take care of it. Go to the safety. Got it. Hey, fatigue. I thought these creatures disappeared a long time ago. Alright, prepare to die. Guards are already there. This is more serious than I thought. Oh no. Even the rats are intimidating. My memory back. What are you doing here? I guess you'd like to come up to the surface. I have something that could help you, but I need you to do me a favor. A fragment of my memory is near here. I can feel it. Find it and bring it to me. I can't promise you anything, but I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, no funny business. I'm not going anywhere.
could look a little better. That's okay. Jeez, I killed us! What the heck, guys? I guess we're still on the same continue, so technically... We're still on our one credit try here, guys. some things now. My memory has been altered by a demon of incredible power. The people of Asterberg are in danger. We must act quickly. A blue demon, could it be? I must warn the poor heart. Hurry, Gareth. You are the only one who can stop this. How do you know my name? Who are you? I can't tell you too much. Gareth, a lot of my memories are lost. My instincts tell me we will meet again. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Wait, 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 wait. You can now use the magic spear spell to destroy your enemies and some obstacles for that. Use the magic button. This will consume your mana bar. Don't worry. It will refill with time.
I guess this is as good a time as any to go ahead and stop. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. This has been Astabros and Demons of Astaberg on the Evercade, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and as always, peace and happy games.